I'm privileged to be able to sit down with from Al Jamaa to ACDP to the Freedom Front Plus to the IFP to the DA to the Action SA. I have a relationship with all of those people. Who do you want in the room in 2019? You are going 24. to have... In 2024. You are going to have John Stianese, Musi Maimani, Sil Ramaphosa, Julius Malema. At least by favorability numbers, those are the top five leaders in the country. And then I think it includes Helen Zilla somewhere there, depending on which poll you look at. <laughs> you know what I like about Musi Maimani is that he does not undermine himself. Musi Maimani once went to SABC and when he was there, he told the season of Walsh that the South African voters men are something else. South African voters basically do not care about the policy. Musi Maimani did not put it like the way I'm putting it, but Musi Maimani put it in a way that South Africans do not care about the policy. South Africans are voting for the most popular politician at the time. He made an example about the Sakala Ramaphosa that when Jacob Zuma got kicked out of the office, and the ANC brought in Sakala Ramaphosa. South Africans did not care about the fact that ANC under Jacob Zuma was already destroying the country. They didn't care about the carnage of the African National Congress. As soon as ANC started parading Sakala Ramaphosa, South Africans said that we are going to vote for this man. And this is the reason why Musi Maimane always puts himself on the top four of the most popular politicians in South Africa. And this is the reason why he always says that Build One South Africa is going to get a lot of votes Sim by a simple fact that the South Africans do not vote based on policy. They don't care about policy. You can promise South Africans all you want. If you are not a likable politician to South Africans, they are not going to vote for you. I know it says a lot about us as the country, but is the truth? <laughs> is the truth? I know it is not even supposed to be like that. We were supposed to look at the political parties that are offering us something that we can work with. We are supposed to look at the political parties that are actually telling us the things that are plausible. We're supposed to look at the politi at politicians in a clever way, but this is not the way South Africans look at the politicians. This is the reason why, again, Musa Maiman always says that in 2024, after these elections, or in 2024, South Africans are either going to vote for Sel Ramaphosa, they are going to vote for Julius Malema, they are going to vote for John Stenehazen, or they are going to vote for him. According to Musi Maimane, other politicians in South Africa, they are just extras. Julius Malema, Cyril Ramaphosa, John Steinhazen, and himself, these people are the main characters in South African politics. I don't know how do you feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how do you feel about that. Do you think that Musi Maimane is telling the truth? Do you think that Musi Maimane is telling the truth that the South Africans are only voting for the popular politicians? They, they, like, they don't care about the policies, man. You can promise South Africans all you want. You know South Africans love saying that. Do not tell us how bad the African National Congress is. Can you please tell us what you are going to do? That is what you are going to do better than the African National Congress. But when you come and say that, guys, this is what we are going to do better than the African National Congress, South Africans will say, no, we would rather stick with the African National Congress better the devil we know than the devil we don't know. <laughs> better the devil we know than the devil we don't know. So in that list, if we are talking about the popularity, I would add Gaten McKenzie. I would add Gaten McKenzie. So guys, I would like you to make your top five most popular politicians in the country. But I think Musi Maimani, he's telling the truth a bit. <laughs> Who do you want in that room to dictate? Again, I come back to the point I made to you as a father. The, the, the choices that your children will say, you served us well. Who do you want in the room? Who do I want? Who do you want in the room with you negotiating? I would want all of those players and perhaps we need to be able to bring up people who share common values because I do think... Such as? Give me names. Um, and who do you not want in the room? No, let me, let me rather, <laughs> rather personalize it. Let's make it planners. Planners. We are not going to work with people who are corrupt. You can't...
And I think he's, he's saying the African National Congress, when he says that we are not going to work with the people that are corrupt, he's talking about the African National Congress. And guys, again, what do you think about the political parties that have actually said that we will never work with African National Congress, come hell or high water? There is no way we are going to work with African National Congress. Musi Maiman is not the first person to say that he is not going to work with African National Congress. I think even Action SA, Action SA is firm. On, on that belief that no matter what happens, Action SA, it is not going to negotiate with African National Congress. We are not going to sit on the same table with African National Congress. We are not going to discuss the future of this country with African National Congress because we believe that the ANC has damaged the country. So sitting with these people, discussing the future of this country with these people, man, it's nothing but criminal. So Musi Maimani, Build One South Africa, it seems like it is one political party that will never work with African National Congress, come hell or high water. Action SA, again, it's another political party that will never work with African National Congress. Make it plan once. Plan us. I do think. Such as, give me names. Um, and who do you not want in the room? No, let me, <laughs> let me rather, rather than personalize it, let's make it plan once. Plan us. We are not going to work with people who are corrupt. You can't sit across the room and negotiate corruption. It's a problem. You can't sit in the room and speak to people who don't care about education, care about electricity, safety. Give, Let's give, 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 give me names. So what? let me come back to the point. Will now, you sit with the ANC in the coalition? You can't sit with the ANC okay. for the simple reason that <laughs> I can't negotiate there, there, corruption. There are many people who said that before and eventually ended up in coalition. Yeah, but you'll end up negotiating corruption. Because... So guys, if you if Muslim and Action SA actually take this stance, that we will never discuss anything with African National Congress. We will never sit on a negotiating room with African National Congress. How, do, how, how many election cycles do you think these people need so that they can start making an impact in South Africa? Because we know right now that we can say whatever that we want to say about the ANC, but majority of the voters in the country, they still favor the African National Congress. So if Musi Maimani and Emin Mashaba are sticking with their guns, so that there is no way we are going to negotiate with African National Congress, how many election cycles should these guys actually be prepared to sit and say that as long as the ANC is there, we are not going to negotiate with it? Because I believe even in, 2020, in, in 2029, now I know people are saying that, yeah, you see right now in the, in the African National Congress is going to lose the majority. In 2029, we're going to get rid of the whole thing of the African National Congress. I don't think that the people should count their chickens before they hatch. <laughs> so, is it, is, 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 is it realistic for Musi Maimane to say that he will never negotiate with African National Congress? Is it realistic for any political party to say that they will never negotiate with African National Congress? I'm saying this because, guys, you know that even with the Democratic Alliance, at least the DA has came out and said that we are open to the idea of working with African National Congress because I think the DA with African National Congress, they have a long history and I think it's it's understandable for the DA why they are putting themselves in that position of negotiating with African National Congress. After all, these people have been running after ANC for the longest time. The DA has been the one, the one political party that has been trying to hold the African National Congress accountable for the longest time. So if ANC is going to lack the votes, of course the DA will want themselves in that pack and say, guys, we want to form a you heard what the, the, the chief whip of the DA, Sevio Hwarube, said that we want to expand as the Democratic Alliance. We don't want to be a Western Cape political party. We want to be a South African political party. We want to show South Africans across the country that we can govern better than the African National Congress. So the Democratic Alliance has already said it that we are not ruling out the possibility of working with African National Congress. But I'm talking about the political parties that do not want to negotiate with African National Congress. Do you think that it is realistic for these people to say that they don't want to negotiate with African National Congress or do you think that these people can have some sort of impact without even negotiating with African National Congress because even the EFF the EFF has already came out and said that if you give us the finance minister that we are willing to give you our votes so I think the top two opposition parties in the country they have already made their voices heard that we are willing to work with African National Congress maybe on certain conditions but we are not ruling out the possibility of working with the ANC. I'm talking about the Muslim money and, and him and Mashaba. Is it realistic for them to say that they will never sit down and work with African National Congress? Don't care about education, care about electricity, safety. Give, Let's give, 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 give me names. So what? let me come back to the point. Will now, you sit with the ANC in the coalition? You can't sit with the ANC. Okay. For the simple reason that I can't negotiate. There, there, there are many people who said that before and eventually ended up 
coalition. Yeah, but you'll end up negotiating corruption. Because... <laughs> I, I don't hate the ANC. Let me be clear about okay. that. I think that what I'd rather do is, and I've done this before, I've submitted to them our 10-point plan as BOSA. So here it is, Mr. President. If you want to talk to us after the elections, these are the only things we can talk about. I don't want to talk about positions. You know, we've become coalition obsessed with, hey, which position are you going to fulfill? Hey, this one is going to be this. That's nonsense. How 2016 to 2019 worked that we kept that coalition working. It's because we had a deliberate plan. We, we are going to deliver services like this. We're going to do this. I even think if I stood up for the position of president, I don't, you don't want these convoluted speeches at State of the Nation. You want a reflection on the plan. We agreed in three months we're going to do the You're going to come thing. with your sleeves rolled up. I'm speak, I hope I'm speaking your future. <laughs> That's it. Your sleeves rolled up. Show up rolled up sleeves so that you can say, I'm not here to talk about Dinswalo and Tumamina and all sorts of things. <laughs> I'm here to articulate, we agree that we are going to split Transnet into its component parts. Here's where we are, here's where we are not. Because that it's, it's, at the end of the day, you are showing South Africans, they can hold you accountable on those things. And again, Musa Maimani mentioned something very important about the political parties, especially that wants to get into coalition with African National Congress for the sole basis of the positions, man. You know, we have so many political parties in the country today and we don't know exactly what is it exactly do these people want. We don't know what do these people want because we know that they are not going to get an outright majority. But what is it exactly do these people want? Because I think many political parties would actually trade their votes to the African National Congress for few positions in the government. I honestly believe that most of the political parties that we have, like most of these new political parties are willing to, 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 to donate their votes to the African National Congress so that they can have a few ministerial positions. I, I, like, I can bet on that. I can bet on that. And it looks like Musi Maiman is building a political party man, on, 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 on values. And, and uh, it looks like Musi Maiman is quite serious about the values of Build One South Africa. He doesn't care about the positions. Or is this just a talk? I guess politicians are politicians, man. <laughs> You know, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to trust a politician. <laughs> this fanfare about state of the nation and dress codes, and red carpets and all of that is nonsense. DA, EFF? Would you, would you, I've negotiated would, with all of those parties. Would you want 2024? Would you want them I've in the I've really room? spoken to them. You'll remember even in Johannesburg, I was stoned when I was sitting with the EFF. The EFF never joined our, our coalition. Yes. But they said they would help us elect a mayor if we needed to elect a mayor. You, I would help you do all of that. I draw inspiration. I don't want to sound... I draw inspiration from people like Nelson Mandela. So, Musa Mehmet would actually negotiate with the EFF, but he would not negotiate with the African National Congress. Is that what he's saying? That he would rather negotiate with the EFF and not the ANC. Because me personally, guys, I don't see the difference from the ANC and the EFF. I don't want to lie. I know that the EFF is not the ruling party at the moment. But I don't see the difference between the EFF and the ANC. So if you are okay with sitting down with the EFF, I think you might as well sit down with the ANC. <laughs> Never joined our, our coalition. Yes. But they said they would help us elect a mayor if we needed to elect a mayor. You, I would help you do all of that. I draw inspiration, I don't want to sound, I draw inspiration from people like Nelson Mandela. You know Nelson Mandela... In a because guys, if, if, if you're going to say that, okay, the political parties that we don't want to negotiate with, we don't want to negotiate with the political parties that are corrupt. I mean, like, of course the ANC is corrupt, and of course the ANC is nationally, is corrupt nationally. But what about where the EFF is? What about all these broken down municipalities where the EFF is? Are you not going to hold the EFF accountable the same way you are holding the ANC accountable and saying that there is no way we're going to negotiate with you simply because you guys are corrupt? Are you not going to look at other political parties that you are open to negotiating with and saying that, okay, guys, these people are in this municipality, these people are in that municipality. Can we try to see how these, municipality are, these municipalities are run? 
you look at Ekuleni, the EFF is there, at Ekuleni, they are there with the African National Congress. They just gave the ANC, the mayor, and the, the ANC just gave the EFF, the, the, the MMC of finance. But you look at how destroyed Ekuleni is. Are you not going to look at the EFF and say, guys, you, 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 you have formed governance with the ANC in a couple of municipalities and things are not looking well for you there. Things are not looking well for you there. The people in those municipalities are not happy about the kind of services they are getting from you. So if you are open to working with, if you are open to negotiating with African National Congress, isn't it realistic to say that you might as well negotiate with the EFF? If you are open to negotiating with the EFF, you might as well negotiate with African National Congress because if you're going to look at the parties and you're going to look at corruption, you if you're going to stand on that, that we are not going to negotiate with the people who are corrupt, I don't think you can only judge a political party by the fact that, okay, they are running the country as a whole. Why don't you even go to the municipalities? Because we know that most, some of the municipalities in the country, I think most of the, of the municipalities in the country, they are, co they are coalition municipalities, and you can look at the mess that is happening there and you can say, okay, maybe these political parties are not the right ones for us to negotiate with them because these people are corrupt. We, as a build one South Africa, we don't want to negotiate with the people that are corrupt and we are not only going to look at corruption nationally, we are, all, we are also going to look at corruption on, 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 on a municipal level. I think for me personally, like I think like it would make sense for, for, for him to say that. Because if you say that you don't want to negotiate with the ANC, then it's fine. But if you are open with working with the DA, if you are open with working with the EFF, if you are open with working with other political parties, then you need to go to the municipalities where these political parties are running and start seeing, okay, these people, this is the kind of job these people are doing. You need to look at the coalition of, of, of certain of these political parties and say, okay, guys, you are governing this municipality and this municipality it's 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 like it's, it's it's corruption left right and center the auditors is is corruption left right and center so build one south africa is not going to negotiate with you on that achieving the 94 95 they eventually signed constitution i draw inspiration maybe nostalgically maybe you know as history you know you people become bigger but he was able to speak to even people you would never think he would speak to. He was the one who would go to Betsy Farvut. He was the one who could be able to. So I'm fortunate. And it's a privilege of maybe having grown up from a Kosa mother and a Tswana mother, now in a mixed marriage and all of that. I'm privileged to be able to sit down with, from Al Jamaa to ACDP to the Freedom Front Plus to the IFP to the DA to the Action SA. I have a relationship with all of those people. You know what, what was one of the most beautiful things I saw, I experienced the other day? When we got our signatures to participate in the elections, most of the calls I got were from across the spectra. I had former ANC presidents calling me saying, hey, we had led. I had DA people. I had, I had EFF people. They're had, all wooing you. They what? are saying, what is it that your opposition sees in you? Yeah. I think in part. What are the qualities they see in you? And again, guys, what are the qualities that you see in Musimaiman? You what know, is the qualities that people see? And would you even consider voting for Musimaiman? You know, I, <laughs> I'm one of those people who wanted to vote for new political parties. I honestly wanted to vote for a new political party. But I again think that if I'm going to vote for a new political party, I'm worried that it might be like a spoiled vote. Just like like I'm, I'm living here in the first state, like... Most of these new political parties are not even visible where I stay. So if I'm going to vote for, let's say I'm voting for Shiluva, what if it's only five of us or 15 of us who have actually voted for Shiluva? So my vote did not exactly count. As much as I would love to think that my vote has counted, but my vote did not exactly count. So I think... <laughs> <laughs> would you guys be open to the idea of voting for a small political party or a new political party and would you feel after voting for that political party that my vote has, has actually counted like the people in Johannesburg the people in Johannesburg they can vote for Action SA because Action SA is already scooping the municipalities is already scooping the, the, the like Action SA is doing the things there in Johannesburg so I don't think that the people in Johannesburg if they vote for Action SA they're gonna feel like their vote has been wasted but I don't think the people in Eastern Cape if they vote for Action SA they're gonna feel like their vote was was worthy 
<laughs> I don't think, I, I'm not sure if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I want to vote for a new political party, but at the same time, I'm looking at the shift that the country has made, and I don't want to regret voting for a political party after these elections. I don't want to regret voting for certain people. If those people do not even get a one seat in parliament, can you even imagine voting for a one political party and that political party does not even get one seat? How are you going to feel? How are you going to feel? I don't think like it's, it's going to be a pleasant uh, experience for you to vote for a political party and those people do not get even one seat. Then you know that your vote is wasted. <laughs> Seeing you as a leader. No, I, th I think because I, I espouse dignity in people. Yeah. And more than anything, I would consider myself more of a bridge maker, a bridge builder. And me personally, guys, when it comes to Musi Maimane, I honestly feel like Musi Maimane should have opened a political party a long time ago. Can you imagine if Musi Maimane started a political party the same year Julius Malama started EFF 10 years ago? Can you imagine how big Build One South Africa would be today if Build One South Africa was started 10 years ago? And now we are in 2024, the most crucial elections. And people want to vote for Musi Maimane, but at the same time, people do not want to feel like, yeah, I wasted my vote. I think in part, what are the qualities they see in you? Uh, you what know, is the qualities that people see in you as a leader? No, I, th I think because I, I espouse dignity in people. And more than anything, I would consider myself more of a bridge maker, a bridge builder, who's capable of building and bringing South Africans together. And, and I think even when in a tough negotiated settlement around coalitions, I found, you, 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 know, you know, in 2016, I can remember the IFP, I can even remember the debate between the Freedom Front Plus and the EFF. Long, deep debates. The Freedom Front Plus said, we are not coming into this thing. And we had to sit down and say, Okay, the EFF are not going to be in the coalition, but here's how we're going to work these things. And I think there's a sense of, I respect all the leaders. They know I'm not corrupt. I'm not going to schnei people. I'm not going to, you know, do things behind people's back that destroys them. But I think they also know that in a government that we would work in, in bringing people together, I mean, it, but their interests would be there. So I think that... But, but you speak as if politics is very clean. Politics isn't very clean. Oh, of course Politics isn't, isn't, that's very, what makes isn't, it isn't very me. dignified. If I'm, if, are, if, are, you, are you in politics? Is that it? Because you left for a while, then you started One South Africa, and then you started Build One South Africa. It's are, hard. Are you, are you in it? Here's the thing, is a vote for you a vote for continuity, or are we going to have like an Ahang situation? No, I... <laughs> Something I, of, I mean... Of course, this is what I'm talking about, man. Situation. No, I... Something I, of, I mean... I have a dream for this country. I have a vision for this country. People who have changed this country did not change. You know, I draw inspiration from leaders on my desk at home. I've referenced Mandela a lot, and maybe uh, he's one of the leaders, but I take people like Anwar Sadat from Egypt. I take people like uh, Martin Luther King, Helen Suzman, so many others. Three what of those people are communists. That was <laughs> ideal. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried about it's, you it's, now. It's interesting that you would draw Mandela as a communist. But anyway. But, but, I mean, <laughs> the ANC, like, you know, yeah. that sense, you know. <laughs> but, uh, people like Alan Zuzman, etc. I mean, right. there are so many. But the reality of it is this. They changed their societies because they saw a different society. And the, even the speech Mandela gives at the, at the Ravonia trial references apartheid less relative to what life would look like without apartheid. And even so, he spent 27 years in prison before that dream was realized. You know, Ahmed Kathrada sat next to me at a, at, a, at, a, at a meeting and promised before he passed on to say, I want to take you to Robben Island. Because I want you to see, and I'll never forget, I hold that precious because he said, I grew up in a, I was imprisoned in a world where I never heard children cry. And I want to make sure that 
kids in this country are free. I, you can't help but see the trans, transcendental, transcendental vision that these great men had. Who are the, you know, who, so to answer your uh, specific question, uh, this is not just about 2024. 20, uh, that would be transactional. We have to dream about a South Africa beyond this. Because to beat the ANC is not to remove black, green, and gold from parliament. It's to tell a story as to what happens after liberation. Because I actually want ANC voters to vote for Bosa and see their future secured within that. Mm. I don't want ANC voters to think, eh, this one is so, he hates the ANC. No, no, no. The ANC played its part. Are they being the negotiator politician there? 2020, it, we have to build beyond. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Mm. Th this is important because the, you don't win an election until you start to win the arguments and you don't win the elections until you can let people imagine a different tomorrow. So guys, what do you think, man? What do you think about Musimayman? Would you consider voting for Musimayman? Would you consider voting for a new small political party? Are you going to feel like your vote was worth it if you vote for a small political party? I mean, I'm thinking about where we are as a country today. We are looking at the coalition. People are saying that the African National Congress is going. People are, look, are, are debating about the political parties that might potentially go into coalition with African National Congress. And none of these political parties are small political parties. So guys, if you're going to vote for a small political party, are you going to feel like your vote is represented guys so please tell me what you think on the comment section don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part is subscribe 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 my name is thomas mabaso i will see you next time bye bye